Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave Hibbergo Gamer. So today we got an Xbox Series X that's not displaying any video, and it's not due to the HDMI port. So let's go over to the upper cam, and we're going to be able to see how we can be able to resolve this issue quickly and safely. All right, guys. So <clears throat> as you can see, we do have a Xbox Series X. Um, motherboard now if you guys don't know how to dis disassemble it i would recommend just watching the disassembly video if you are wanting to do work on your own game console now i did check the hdmi port the hdmi port uh, seems to be good everything seems to be fine i did a lot of testing around the chip and i couldn't find any obvious faults i did eject some voltage use my thermal cam camera couldn't find anything there's an esd pack on here I did run some tests on. It seems to be tested just fine. Now, let me zoom in a little bit. Now, sometimes that ESD pack, this gray thing right here, they could go out in some of these consoles because I've seen it go out inside of Xbox Series X's. <clears throat> sorry, inside of Xbox One X's and Xbox One S's. Um, so my first guess on this would be the HDMI retimer chip which is the most common with Xbox One Xs. Now this is an Xbox Series X and the only repairs I've only had to do when it came to video repairs was always HDMI port. Now this is something different. Now I had to um, order this for my distributor, um, these chips right here. So let's get a closer look at it and let's see what it looks like. All right, so here we are right here. It took me a little bit to find this chip because not a lot of people sell the retimer chips, the Xbox Series X. Now the first thing, I concluded is that more than likely that chip is gone out. Now, as you can see, we have my packs right here. I have two brand new Xbox Series retimer chips. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to replace that and see if that one is truly our culprit. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to be able to do it. Now, everything that I use in my videos are actually in the description of my video so if you want to know the tweezers the heat gun everything that i use so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using my heat my tular heat wand <clears throat> i got my nozzle on it i'm going to apply some 8341 no clean flux on that retimer chip so let's apply it all right so we got that around there now what we're going to do next is we're going to turn on that fume extractor and I'm going to put my Tular heat wand at 3%, which will be equivalent to just three, the number three on there. And I'm going to start off at 440. So I'm going to see 40, 440 degrees Celsius is enough to be able to lift it. So I'm going to give the heat wand some time to charge up. All right, so heat wand is heated up. I'm going to start applying heat to this general area over here. All right, so I'm going to kick this thing up to 40%. And I know this is going to, this motherboard is going to absorb more heat. And I kick my Tular heat wand up to 500. All right, so that took a lot longer than what it would have taken if this was like an Xbox One X or Xbox One S motherboard. This thing, this motherboard absorbs a lot of heat. So that was at 40% airflow, 500 on the temp. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-angle this so I can be able to make sure all the pins are aligned when I put the new... Um, chip on there. So let's get that done. Right, so let's apply our flux around this area and we're going to heat back up our heat wand and we're going to get this new e timer chip put into place. It blew up. What? The new chip exploded. Wow.
All right, so that looks good. That looks like it's in place. And looks like we are good to go. So just to give you guys more of an idea how I was able to get this completed, I went on ahead and I obviously I placed the chip down there. I used my 8341 no clean flux. I used my solder iron. I kind of went around. I used my angle tip that I used my flat tip to kind of get in there because it's a little bit more difficult working with ICs where you really don't have too much wiggle room to really reach that copper pad to make sure it could get placed directly on there. So that's kind of how I did it. So I kind of went back and forth with that. Took me a, a, obviously a little bit longer than what it would typically take to work on an Xbox One X um, motherboard. So I'm hopeful that this should be able to fix this no video problem that we have going on with this game console. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna partially get this thing put back together. We're gonna come back, test, and see if this thing does successfully work now. All right, so we got the console partially put back together. Guys, I just want to let you know what I did. Um, I went on ahead and I um, I did put it back together um, to where it's at right now. Didn't work. I grounded out the um, make just make sure everything was grounded out perfectly on a retimer chip. That didn't change anything. I added in a new copper line to it. Um, put all new fresh solder again. The copper lines, the, the all the lines, and everything looked ten times better. Um, and then also I went to the back of the board. I, I did more testing, did more cleaning. So let's see if it works. If it still doesn't work, it is more than likely that ESD um, diode pack. Unfortunately, we can't get a hold of those. And I think the only people who manufacture those is just Microsoft. It was the same way with the Xbox One X's and the S models. And I was never able to get a hold of those unless I get a donor console that I can pull it from. And I don't obviously have any donor console. So let's see if this now works. Um, so let's go ahead and power this on. So we have power. I got the HDMI core hooked in. And let's see if we get anything on the screen. All right, I sit here and I waited and waited and waited and waited. Still nothing's on the screen console is not loading up and it's not working so i right now cannot repair this console until i get a donor console in once i get a donor motherboard in then i can be able to go in and try to replace that esd uh, dial pack i know there's a way to bypass it i don't have the pin out in order to pass the ei the esd dial pack that's the only thing else I can think is is. I mean, I've tested everything else. I've tried everything else. So it looks like the Xbox Series consoles is having a, a, a slight different issue versus what the Xbox One X consoles was experienced was, which was the retimer chips. The retimer chips was going out left and right on those things. So looks like we are having an additional issue, which just may be that ESD pack. And if that is the case, Hopefully, uh, a, a, another third party can start manufacturing something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully so. But I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll do an update video if we do get a donor console in so I can go back in and repair this one. But besides that, I hope to see you guys on the next video. Like this video if this video did help you guys out. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. But besides that, I'll see you guys on the next video. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. See ya.